lifestyle where all things fashion and lifestyle content. Today we'll be getting into a lookbook for spring summer 2022 and this lookbook is going to contain pieces from everywhere Walmart, Target, little shopping centers here in Houston probably a purse as low as like $20 so we have all price ranges here I just want to showcase a few looks that you guys can put together for this summer and spring coming up. So as you guys can see, the first look that we have here is a cute little crop blazer with some denim shorts and platforms from um, Valentino. And I chose this look because platforms is going to be a hot thing in 2022 spring and also the blazers as well, whether it be a long blazer or a crop blazer but blazers are definitely going to be in and as you guys can see I have on denim shorts and I actually got these shorts from Walmart and I'll link the brand below so you guys can go check them out these shorts the quality is unmatched the fit is unmatched as you guys can see I really really love these shorts these were my favorite shorts last year and I'm bringing them back out. I'm bringing them back out again this year so I really like those shorts and I recommend everybody to go get them the bag, I got this bag from, I got this bag from a street in Houston called Harwin. It's like a lot of bargain shopping down here, little um, stores where you can go get purses and clothes and like, almost like a swap meet, but not really a swap meet. It's like an AliExpress, but in person, if that makes sense. So that's where I got that bag and it was like, I believe it was like $15.99 because it was like buy one, get one, something else. But this is my first look and this can be... A look for something as simple as brunch, a day party. You out, go out with the girls, take a girls trip to Miami. This is this is a super cute look that I like. And underneath, I just have on this same white crop top that I'm wearing, just so I wouldn't be bare underneath because I don't like just wearing a bra underneath my blazer, especially not this type of blazer. I like this look. This look is super cute, super simple, easy on the budget, and you could even go get some platforms from. Probably like Steve Madden or Macy's for a lower price if you don't want to splurge on those Valentino um, platforms. But platforms are definitely going to be in this spring and summer. So up next, y'all, if you guys watch my unboxing for Skims Fendi collaboration, I love this piece. This piece is super cute. And even in the video, I said that I wasn't going to wear this with the red Bottegas, but I actually did because I was going for more of a... Um, monochrome look if that's what you want to call it you see the red glasses the red uh, all-in-one and then the red Bottega Veneta shoes but I wanted to bring it out just a little bit with the zebra bag and this spring and summer those looks are going to be in as far as the all the the muted look but then a pop of color if that makes sense this um, as you guys can see I'm wearing the low sunglasses Hey guys, so I just wanted to pop in and say I am terribly sorry for the mispronunciation of Loewe. I hope I'm saying it right. I just looked up how to say it and that was how I said it was terribly wrong. So I just wanted to pop in and correct myself. Thanks. The Skims rumper and then the Bottega Veneta stretch sandal with the Bottega Veneta um, chain chain clutch I think that's what it is the chain bag or whatever it is I'll link it down below but as I said especially the glasses you guys can find these um from like a boutique if you if you want to if you don't want to go to low and spend but these glasses have been remade by a lot of different boutiques that you guys can go to so I would definitely recommend a look like this because cat suits are going to be in all the ones are going to be in for this spring and summer so I'm really feeling this look. It's super simple, super chic, and it's a little bit matchy-matchy, but the bag brings it out. And this red really looks good on my skin tone, so I didn't want to do too much, but I really wanted to add a little pop of something. That's why I have on the zebra bag to bring it out. This outfit, for me, is really cute and simple. Like, if I want to go out at night during the summertime and not have to really think about what I want to put on. I was going to put my, the uh, not Dior, sorry, my um, Bottega Veneta red little mini clutch with it just to like mute the entire look out. But that red for that bag was really a dull red. It wasn't giving what it was supposed to give. It was a very like faded almost red, if that makes sense. 
So I really wanted to bring this look out with my zebra bag. And I think that bag really set it off alone. Also, zebra is going to be in for spring, summer. I was even going to get the, um, the stretch. Is it the stretch? No, it's not the stretch little. It's the sandal. It's the sandal. The, the strappy little thong sandal from Bottega Veneta, but the zebra ones. So I would definitely recommend getting into the zebra look. I wish I had the, um... I had some frames that was zebra around or a hat that was zebra around because I think that would have really set the look off. If you guys watch my um, my unboxing for Skims, I really like I really like the quality of that all in one. At first I was a little iffy, but when I like started to try it on and turn around and see how it fits and everything, I really like it because it doesn't ride up in the in the middle of your legs like some shorts do, and I really hate that. I definitely like this look and. Yeah, we're going to see if I'm going to repeat this look because all these looks in this video are being repeated. So, just FYI, if y'all see me out somewhere with these outfits on. So, that was look number two. Let's get into look number three. Now, look look number three, I made this skirt back in 2018. Um, I think I got the fabric from like Joann's or something. And it was so crazy because after I made this skirt, probably like three years, not sorry, after I made that skirt, it was probably like three months later that um, I believe it was Narcissa Rodriguez that made a skirt just like this, but the confetti of it was a little bit different. So I was really on trend with that. And I even paired it with a fringe roll that I made. I'll show you guys right here. I really, really like that uh, outfit. But I decided to go a different route this time. Fringe and glitz and glam and glitter and all that is definitely a 2022 trend. And it's not only for New Year's Eve. So I think you guys should get on that. Because if you look, go look back at the different runway shows that we just had in Paris. Those designers are definitely giving all the glitz and glam and the glitter and the voila. And you wouldn't, you would only expect to see that on New Year's Eve, not throughout the whole season. But this year, yeah, if you are not into color and glitter and all that, you definitely need to get into it because it's going to be a lot of color splashes, bold colors, metallics, all of that, all of that good colorful stuff. So I decided to put it with a, um, I decided to put it with a pink crop button down from Zara that I got. I didn't find any other top to go with this skirt because this skirt is such a statement piece. So I had a, a hard time trying to figure out what top I wanted to, to do with it. I almost went to go put back on that robe uh, that I made for it and I was like okay I need to switch it up just a little bit to give the girl something new because everybody liked that outfit when I first made it so I wanted to switch it up and give people something new because the style is coming back in this year. So, I may not wear it just like that because that is a bit much, but I just wanted to give you guys color. And I do have on the Fendi bag with it, the little basket one, the runway one. That piece particularly, particularly sold out everywhere. And I really, really wanted to get a different color. You guys can see the uh, Fendi bag that I wore with. I actually wore this bag out to I believe I wore it in Colombia and I believe I wore it in Miami if I'm not mistaken but I really really love this little bag and after buying it um I seen a little dupe on I wouldn't even call it a dupe because these bags have been out since way back in the in the day and they were like little market bags probably like ten dollars but after I bought the bag I was on um Instagram and I seen Kylie post her baby I believe Stormy if that's her name Stormy's bag and it was the exact shape of mine, but it wasn't a Fendi bag. It was just a plain old bag. And it sold out instantly on Etsy. Because Etsy had some for like $10 that I seen in different colors. And it completely sold out. Yeah, that, that bag was a very hot bag. And I even went back to the Fendi store here in Houston in the gallery to get it. And they told me that bag completely sold out. All the colors sold out. They only had the large one left and I really didn't want the large one because I'm not too fond of large bags because I am on the smaller petite side so I think sometimes bigger bags can drown me out or drown my outfit out but I was willing to make an exception for that bag and but they didn't have the color that I wanted and it's 
so crazy because today I'm just now realizing that at the bottom of the bag it has Fendi on there. And I've been having this bag for so long that I've never known that the bottom of this bag had Fendi. I wore it for Mother's Day. I wore it for uh, I wore it in Columbia and I wore it in Miami. And this whole time I've never known that the bottom of that bag had Fendi on it. But anyways, enough about that bag. As you guys can see, I do have on some Bottega Veneta dupes of the little sandals that I was just talking about. They're actually more comfortable than the real thing. Because the real ones, I have very wide feet. And the strap across the foot, it, it um, smashes my toes together and it's super uncomfortable. And the only way that I can wear them if, is if I go up a size like seven or seven and a half and I'm only five one and the bigger the shoe the longer it looks on me so I I wasn't feeling that when I tried it on if you guys go back and watch my birthday vlog I tried some on in the store and they were just really long like banana boats and I was like nah I can't I can't do this so I went ahead and got the dupes and I believe those are from Ego Official if I'm not mistaken they are super comfy I've worn those shoes out as as you guys can probably tell like I need to wipe those shoes down because those shoes are, they go with everything. They're white, they're simple, they're chic, and you can put them with just about every outfit. So sometimes I have to tell myself, like, girl, put those shoes down. You don't want them shoes out, like, nearly to the ground. You need to put those shoes back. Put them back, okay? I'm actually only wearing some simple gold hoops for that particular look. I wasn't too fond of putting anything dramatic on my ears because the drip, the skirt was already doing a lot. So I really didn't want to do anything to... I don't want my look to be too busy, if that makes sense. Because the skirt is already super busy. So I really wanted to not do too much at the top and just really have a look for the bottom, if that makes sense. For this look, when I made the skirt, I had no idea of what I was going to make. I was actually inspired by something that I seen on Tumblr at the time. And when I bought the fabric, every time I buy fabric, I don't have no idea of what I'm making. I just buy it. And when I get the inspiration from something to design or make something, then I go from there. But I really don't have anything in mind when I design something. And I believe that's why my aesthetic for my brand is probably all over the place because I let everything inspire me. I just... I really don't like to stick to one look, if that makes sense. So for this skirt, the fabric was super colorful, super vibrant and bold. And I wanted to really make a statement piece. And I was just telling my mom that I want to go buy some more of this fabric because I want to make some pants out of it. Not a flare pant, but a boot pant, if that makes sense. A boot cut pant, if that makes sense. Because... I need some cute pants to wear and the only thing with these I'm trying to find a good fabric to line the fabric with because the fabric is uncomfortable for me I really can't wear the skirt out as of yet because I have to put lining in it and if I don't it just itches and I don't like to be uncomfortable in my clothes so once I finally line it then I'll probably wear it out for this spring and summer because I want to wear it on vacation because that's a vacation look that's not a stay in your city and go somewhere look as we all can tell, it's just so vibrant, it's so cute. And when I do wear it, I don't think I'm going to wear it with a pink top. I just needed something in my closet to pair this with because this skirt is super on trend for 2022. It has all the metallic colors, the fringes, the bold, the vibrant, the glitz and glam to it. So I really just wanted to show you guys how to probably style something that you guys might want to see. On yourself but you are unsure of what to what to put it with basically so if you do a skirt like that I would say go ahead and do a simple shoe and a simple top you don't want to overpower the main item you don't want your look to be too busy so for look number four I went ahead and got this green skirt out of my closet I've never worn it before it's from Zara as you guys can see I love Zara so as a green skirt skirt but I'm wearing it as a dress and the reason I'm wearing it as a dress because it was way too long on me it wasn't flattering as a um as a skirt it was too long it was too baggy and sometimes our clothes are the sizing is either way too big or way too small and this skirt was just not skirting the way it was supposed to so I went ahead and pulled it over my top area 
and I paired it with some yellow mules that I got from Zara probably like six months ago that I always wear. They're so comfy. They're so easy to pair with other things. And I just slipped it on. And I was like, okay, this is cute. And the Mitch Matchy colors are going to be in for spring, summer. So I really didn't want to do a green bag or a green shoe. And I was like, okay, let me see if I like my pink shoes with it. And the pink shoes were a no-go. Like, they, it was just giving way too much AKA. And I wasn't trying to give too much of that. So I went ahead and put my yellow mules with it. And it was super duper duper cute. I also got these spiral, these spiral small little hoops. They're like little but second knockoffs. Where did I get those from? I think like a little website. Was it Amazon? I'm not sure. I got them so long ago that I can't remember. But I got them in yellow, green, and hot pink to go with some uh, sets that I had made for my store. And it just didn't work out the way I thought it would. So I paired it with this skirt. Well, this dress as you guys see. And it was super cute to me. I wanted to like really spice up the look with a necklace, but the necklace didn't pair well with the earrings and I wanted to leave the earrings on. And for the bag, I went ahead and paired it with a net looking bag. It's super vacation-ish. It just looked like you're going to a vacation in Mexico or in the Caribbean for a week. I got it from the same place that I got the bag from look number one it's like a little market here a little swap meet market almost and that was the one that I got the two for like $15 the two for $20 I got that one to go with the other one and it's just I really like that bag because it's super cute it's super fun it's super like laid back and vacation-y and put it with something flowy and that's what I was going for I was going for a vacation look in the number four as you guys can tell but the thing about it is this dress or this skirt kind of looks like a beach cover up or a towel wrapped around me so when i do wear it i'm going to have to take the sides in to really hug my waist as you guys can tell it's not really hugging my waist but i do like the slit i like the i like what the slit is, slit is doing for me once i take it and i probably put a belt around it I can put a thin Valentino belt with it because I just seen the Valentino belt on Farfetch not too long ago. And I was like, oh, that's super cute. So I think a thinner belt probably would make it make it a little more feminine and dainty. But we'll see though. We'll see. I want to, I'll probably put it together on um, Smart Closet just so you guys can see like a different look instead of the one that I had on. Because I, it, it wasn't accentuated in my silhouette how I wanted it to. So let's go to my favorite look number five. Also just to add, Hilo Lux did make a video about how to wear colors this spring. So if you're unfamiliar with how to wear colors, I should really check out that video. I'll link it below because it really tells you like if you have on a green dress, you look across the color wheel and you'll get whatever color you see or whatever colors that's next to it, that's the best color to pair it with. So if you are afraid of color, if you don't really know how to dress color up, I suggest go looking at that video because that video, that video is actually, actually very helpful. By the way, you guys let me know which outfit was your fave, which look was your fave, and which one that you would probably not wear and which one would you probably most likely wear. I want to see if I'm hitting my mark on these trends and I want to connect with you guys more so just comment down below on what looks was your fave and what look was your least fave so let's get into look number five all right y'all so let's talk about look number five because this is my favorite look out of all of the looks that I've done this is my favorite look for my lookbook and I know it's not really it's not really a look that probably most people will go for, but this is my favorite look simply because the there are two items in this look that I designed myself, and I'm just so proud of that because they just look so good, so good. It looks like something that came from a high-end designer, and just seeing it 
in action just makes myself so proud. So let's let's get into it. As you guys can see, the jacket is a statement piece. The jacket is everything. The jacket is the moment. Like it reminds me of that meme when Nicki Minaj was like, the jacket is fine. You had on a jean vest. Like, the jacket is bomb, first of all. So this is my design from my store. And I haven't released it yet because there's a skirt that goes with this jacket, but it hasn't passed the fitting check because the fabric is not stretchy. And when you're working with stretchy fabric, it's very easy to get the sizing right because, I mean, it stretches. It's very simple to sew. It's very simple to cut. It's very simple to make. So this fabric is no stretch at all. It's venue. It's um, a PVC venue, I think. And there's a skirt that goes to it, and I can't for the life of me get the sizing correct, so I haven't released it. And I made this back in October, if I'm not mistaken. September or October. Really confirmed that this was a hit was when I seen the 2022 trend predictions and that this fabric was on somebody's mood board. And I was like, this is so crazy because I knew it. I knew metallic and I knew the the bold, vibrant, metallic -y fabric was going to be in this year. And I actually have a video of me in a small fashion documentary saying, my superpower is I know the trends before the trends happen. And I do, like, <clears throat> that's my superpower, y'all. That's my superpower because if this, this jacket just confirms it. This jacket just confirms that I know what I be talking about. Like, the girl know her stuff. I may not post a lot of fashion content, which I'm about to start doing, as you guys can see, and as I told you guys, but I know my stuff when it comes to the trends, the fashion pieces, and all of that good stuff. So you guys better buckle in and tune in because it's getting good over here. So as you guys can see, I do have on a white undershirt, just this one right here because as I said, I don't like to wear my jackets with nothing underneath. I, I don't like that. It's just, no, it just wasn't doing what it needs to do for me. So I just put this simple white crop top underneath. I got it for like um, $3.99 from a local store here in Houston. And then I paired it off with denim. Um, I paired it off with denim jeans from Zara. And I don't have the exact denim number in the style number, but I'll try to find it and link it below. It's um, uh, almost like a boot cut. But it's, it doesn't stop at my foot. It stops a little bit above my ankle, which I really like because it shows off the shoe. And let's get on the shoe. Those shoes are from my brand, Leg the Look. I haven't released those either because I was doubting myself. And I talked myself out of actually producing, taking those shoes into mass production because I was like, what if nobody buys them? What if, what if, what if, what if? I was doing a lot of what ifs and I have to stop doing that because I tend to doubt, doubt myself a lot when it comes to which pieces that I want to put out and I tend to really just overthink stuff. I understand why because my brand is my baby and it's just like, uh, I don't know what I should do. But I really do feel like I should have got these shoes put out. Because as I said, as you guys can see, this shoe is on trend. The metallic neon colors are in for 2022 spring summer. Go look at the runway shows and tell me all the designers that has either glitz and glam, sparkly fabrics, and then double back and look at the metallic -y fabrics that they're using. It's it's on trend. It's on trend, just like the jacket. And this look is my favorite one because. Both of my pieces pair so well with each other. Like, just look at it. Like, they pair so well with, with each other and that just makes me so proud because I really did that. Like, that's my design. And it looks like it came from an actual store. And when I say actual store, I do mean like a brand that's in Saks or a brand that's in Neiman Marcus or a brand that's on Farfetch Essence. My Teresa 
spreads like that. It I it to me it doesn't look like a a small a small brand that's just doing this out of her house or out of her office, and that's why I'm super proud of this look. It does have functional buttons at the wrist, so if you want to unbutton it, you can just fold it back, and then it has I believe five functional buttons on the front where you can uh, button it up. And I was actually inspired by Bottega Veneta's new, um, it wasn't this, it wasn't this season, it was last season. They have a white jacket similar to this. And I was like, wow, this is very nice. But theirs, to me, was a little bit too structured at the top. So I went ahead and toned the structure down and made the silhouette a bit more fitting instead of so boxy. So this is who I was inspired by. I was inspired by Bottega Veneta. And I wanted to do a skirt that zips up in the front with it. I'll show you guys. I, I did a skirt that zips up in the front and have a, a fold down detailing. But when you turn around, the back is just not it's just not fitting correctly. And I stand by my quality and my store and for my brand. The jacket is such a statement piece. It sets off. You can have on a simple, simple outfit i even put it with sweatpants not too long ago and it just set the look it set the tone it set the entire outfit for the moment so that was look number five and as you guys can tell i'm not afraid of color i love color i love texture i love i love statement pieces i like to pair all of my looks with one at least one statement piece at least one gold piece if I'm going somewhere I want to really step the look up not just have a, a boring neutral look and that's I know that some people think that's not my thing I'd like to if my outfit is boring at least let the bag be popping if the whole outfit is boring at least let the shoe be popping you know hope you guys enjoyed my lookbook for spring summer 2022 and make sure you guys comment below and tell me which look was your fave which look you plan on recreating and what trends you would like to participate in 2022 thank you guys for watching and stay tuned for the next video